Flamberg is a free-roaming, synchronous, turn-based tactics RPG by one-man development team Hide Zeke. This came out on March 25th, 2015. You can buy it on Steam for $9.99, or rather, buy into the Early Access for $9.99. I'm going to go over the tutorial to show you this interesting and refreshingly unique tactics RPG. Now what I mean by synchronous turn-based tactics RPG is that what a lot of uh, recent games on Steam, the likes of Dungeon Man's, Dungeons of Dreadmore, and Tales of Majeol, and other games like that, they use simultaneous or synchronous turns. That's where you, when you move, the enemy moves, or when you attack, the enemy also attacks. This game also has an amazing soundtrack, I think. Great pixel art style. To sum it all up, overall I feel that Flamberg is... It's really a strong candidate to be a, one of those refreshingly unique RPGs that like you usually see published by AAA publishers like Atlas and NIS. So here we are in our tutorial, and we're learning that we can hold shift to move around, we can use these buttons in the top right to zoom in. This is the max zoom level. Here we can zoom out, the max zoom out level. So we'll get straight away into movement. So in order to be free roaming, let me just show you this right off the bat. Basically, you do have turns, and this is what I mean by free movement. You basically have phases. You have your setup phase and execution phase. So you're going to go ahead and plot your movement, and you're limited. Like, that's as far as I could go right there. Like, if I do this, that's I just reached my limit. So I have to, to complete this tutorial by taking a beeline straight away. And then you can double... You can press the spacebar twice to execute and watch your movement play out. Now both movement and combat will be assigned and then you'll execute. So if you're fighting an enemy, like what we'll be doing very quickly here, we will set up our movement and attack and then execute and that's when we'll see what the enemy does. So we can head towards them, get prompted to select our first ability, starting ability, of charge. Now there are different ways to use your abilities, but it's going to start off by showing us the manual, which is just a straight line. We can't adjust the length, but we can adjust the direction, left click to assign it, and then go ahead and execute. And we just did our first attack. Now, it's prompting us to notice the red blinking lights at the feet of the enemy. Basically, the enemy has noticed us and is now preparing to attack. So we're going to learn how to use a defensive ability called Disarm. So we'll select our guy, our ability Disarm, and it's set to manual right now, which you'll learn more about here momentarily. And since there's really no objective or area to assign it to, we just click to confirm. And now we can execute again. And we successfully defended ourselves. So now our disarm is in a one turn cooldown. But we also uh, put the enemy on the defensive. So he can't attack. So he's going to try to evade us. It's going to make hitting him more difficult, so another way we can increase our accuracy at the cost of damage is by taking our charge attack and then hitting the tab key to an adjusted charge. And then we can play with this a little bit and, and kind of guess where we think the enemy might be moving to. And as long as they stay within this area, this, um, you know, dotted circle area, we can adjust our movement while, you know, while we attack. 
So let's go ahead and just assign and execute. Now the adjusted does deal less damage, but we get higher accuracy. Now what we're going to learn here is uh, how to deal with a surprise attack. And we can don't we don't want to move, but we can select our charge and then tab until we get to the auto. And it's just basically one giant AOE we cannot affect. But we'll lock it in and go ahead and execute. And surprise! Nope, surprise to you. So auto deals less damage but allows us to wait for targets and hit them accurately. Now we're going to test our metal a little bit here with what we've learned so far. Now we see that he's preparing to attack. So we'll go ahead and disarm and do a manual disarm. Now what we could do is try to do a powerful manual attack. But he might move out of the way, we might miss. We got lucky. On the defensive again. Disarm again. Now, he's further away. He might end up trying to circle around us, so I'm actually going to, to choose a uh, an adjusted charge here. And that might have paid off for us. So now we have this guy up here to deal with. Let's go ahead and try for an ad now let's try for a more powerful straight charge. Ah, but wait, what's this? So this is an RPG, so what you're going to do is you're going to actually grow your character in an RPG-like fashion and learn new abilities and get multiple party members. So this this um, movement and attacking at once feels simplistic but intuitive and I think it has a lot of room for growth and complexity by having multiple characters, you'll have multiple enemies, you won't really know their behavior. So I think it, it leaves for a lot of fun gameplay. So our archer here is going to get some practice. She starts with shoot and dodge, and it's telling us to go ahead and shoot, and we're going to do a straight straight shot to do the most damage, not adjusted. Now the enemy archer is about to return fire, so we can learn about our dodge. Now it is telling us dodge is successful regardless of direction. Click in any direction to set the movement. Now we can go ahead and finish this guy off. Now he actually might move, so I'm thinking an adjusted attack is in order. And we were right. Now if I want, I can zoom out and see more, and that allows me to see all these new enemies. So now we want to test our metal to finish this tutorial. 
I'm gonna move her up here. She can't shoot this turn. She has to do cooldown, so I'm just moving them. I'm gonna move him as well and go ahead and just execute. Now we see they noticed us. The enemy up, up, up here to the north has even noticed us. And we, by hovering over them we see that we have an archer at the top, or an archer down below next to a soldier. And they all, they're all taking action. So what I can do here is... I think I can shoot. Let's do an adjusted... Well, let's do actually a straight shot. At this archer. While I... Move up here with Logan and try to do... A manual... A manual charge. Now, our Marine's okay, Logan did suffer a little bit of damage, but we took those two out. Let's start moving up here, but I'm also going to dodge just in case with him, and I'm going to, let's see, let's see if we can move and disarm. Okay, nothing happened, but we still have to be on the defensive here. Now that's an archer, so I think she could stand to go ahead and... Let's do an area adjusted attack, and he cannot disarm. Unfortunately, I wasted my disarm for that turn. So let's go ahead and do an adjusted attack. Ah, we we uh, did okay. She did indeed take damage, but I think we're okay. Now we just need to... I'm thinking another... Another dis, or, uh, disarm might benefit us here. And maybe another dodge. And the enemy is not moving. But now they've noticed us. And that is a soldier, it's not an archer, so... We're not dealing with ranged attacks. So what I'm going to do with him, I've used up my disarm, unfortunately, and he's got two health. I'm going to... I'm going to cancel that. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to move a little bit. I'm guessing he's trying to move way down right towards Logan. So I'm going to do... Actually, let's do this. Let me see if I can do this now that I've moved. And I think I'm going to take a chance and do an adjusted attack in this vicinity. Hmm. So you can see how this, this plays out strategically and tactically. We're doing fairly well. We'll just keep at it. I'm gonna do disarm again. Well, she cannot attack, so... I'm gonna dodge just in case that he's gonna go after her. Okay, now I'm on the offensive a bit here. I 
he might go after me or her, so I'm gonna adjust the territory to in between us a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do an adjusted shot as well. There we go. We get an, a, a great little victory screen too, with some terrific music as well. Once again, to go over this a bit, the the this is early access and it has a long development cycle. But the developer's been upfront about that. Price is again nine ninety nine US on Steam. Has terrific music. There is a lot of polish in it, even though it's in a very early access and long cycle. And there is there is a lot of playability that's currently in the game. There's multiple levels, a lot of polish. You just saw the really nice tutorial. We can also take a quick look at some more of the screens and maps. Now we can't scroll this screen around. What we can do is hit escape to kind of get our character view. We can kind of take a look at our level, our stats, and we also will be getting items we can uh, equip. There's weapons, accessories, consumables, key items. So definitely an RPG that I think is worth looking into. Uh, it's very interesting to me. I really like it. And again, I, uh, I can't say enough. The uh, it's, it's this refreshing, unique RPG that I would really expect to find published by Atlas or NIS or, or like publishers. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like what you saw or didn't like or have any questions or comments, let me know on my YouTube video. That's my YouTube channel, Stratix Gaming. You can find me on Twitter, Stratix Gaming. This will also be accompanying a more robust article on zero-friction.net, my retro and indie gaming website. So you can head over there to read much more about the game and join the discussion over there. And I'll see everybody in the next video.